Microsoft has just announced a series of new autonomous agents. Are you ready to meet your new crew? Let's jump in together and explore the sales order agent. The business at the heart of this demo is Kronos Furniture. It's a really busy time of year and the owner of Kronos will be relieved to reduce the strain on the sellers using the new sales order agent. Let's quickly set it up. This is very simple. I'm in Business Central, and if we go ahead and click on the sales order icon, this is where I set the agent up. First, I want to go in and add the shared email address that customers send requests to. I add these details in here, and when I'm ready, click Next. Clicking Finish, the next thing I can do is go ahead and choose which users have access to the agent. If I click on Manage User Access, it's really easy to go ahead and add those individual users in. Just like that, they have access to the ability to review and approve agent actions. I go ahead and activate it and it's ready to go. No additional configuration needed. That was quick. Are you ready to see it in action? Let's head over to Outlook. Here we can see that I'm in the mailbox of one of our customers, Ian. Ian is an office manager for a company that is opening up a new branch and he needs to order all of the office furniture and supplies to get started. On Ian's behalf, let's send an email to Cronus asking about options for conference tables, chairs, and paint. In this email, we can also see I've gone ahead and added a specific deadline for when the items need to be delivered by, along with the purchase order number, which is actually an external number used in Ian's own ERP system. This could be referenced, which will make it easier for him. I can go ahead and click send, and the agent will have immediate access to the email. If Ian has sent an email with a clear ask for a quote for specific items, the agent could go ahead and immediately do that. In this case, we send some questions, and so the agent can actually engage with Ian back and forward to answer them. We're back in Business Central, and in a second, the agent will go ahead and pick up the email. When we think about this at scale, my team can work with the agent however they would like. They can reserve a few times per day to check the agent and approve requests several at a time, or they can check it more frequently and approve it as new replies are generated by the agent. Either way, their time is freed up to focus on other, more pressing sales tasks. We can see here that the agent has gone ahead and mapped the email to Ian's account and has actually created a draft email. If we click in, we can see the full email. Let's click on Review. And now we can see here the email that the agent has generated. It has a full list of all of the conference tables, chairs, and white paint that Corona sells. I feel good about this email, so I can go ahead and approve it, and it will get sent straight to Ian. Let's click on Confirm, and it will go. Back in Ian's inbox, we're able to go ahead and confirm his final requirements and ask for a quote. If his reply is vague, the agent would reply to clarify his exact details, but in this case, we're giving a really clear response. We want to go ahead and order two conference tables, eight of the London chairs, and two cans of the eggshell white paint. With all the information that it needs, the agent will be able to create a quote. Let's head back into Business Central. Normally, creating a quote would take several minutes for each individual customer times up by the number of requests that they get each day, and honestly, there just isn't enough time. To make sure that the team is still kept in the loop, someone will be able to see that quote and approve it before it gets sent out. Here we go, here's the sales quote. If I go ahead and click in, we can see all of the rich details that it's captured. I love this attention to detail. It's picked up the products that he chose, mapped them to the SKU numbers, and pulled in lots of information about price, sales tax, and so on. It's also noticed that Ian shared a few other details. There we can see the delivery date, and there's that purchase order number. That's all been incorporated into the quote. All I need to do is click review to see the email that has that quote attached. When I'm happy with it, I click confirm and that quote will get sent straight over to Ian. If we go ahead and jump back into Outlook, there we can see the quote Ian has received in PDF format, 
with all the information that he needs to feel confident moving forward with the sales deal. Jumping back into Business Central, one of my favorite things is how clearly each step of each customer engagement is captured in Business Central. This allows all of the Business Central users working with the agent to stay in the loop and easily get involved whenever they're needed. Heading into a busy period, any business would be relieved that they've set up the agent. The sales order agent is a team agent, helping reduce order processing time, meaning customers get an improved experience and faster delivery, even during busy periods. Thank you.